and we back. Man, it's been it's been a long journey and it's been it's been rough for a lot of situations. So H and W Conversations is back with part three. We had to take a break due to real life situations, but we back, me and my wife. And what we're talking about, we're gonna always try to keep it relationship centered. <laughs> this one here is funny. So I know y'all see the title, Gilbert Arenas, the $400,000 finesse. So what we're going to do, we're going to listen to Gilbert Arenas' take on what some would say how he finessed his children's mother, also would have been his potential wife out of a $400,000 ring he bought technically. He gonna give you the accurate price, so we rounded it off to four hundred thousand. So we gonna listen to the clip, and again, we do not own the audio. And after that, me and my wife, we gonna get into the meat and potatoes of the conversation. Y'all check this out. Before I let you go, man, you, you're my hero for doing this. Uh, you talked about how you gave your girl a fake ring. <laughs> a fake diamond ring, which I guess if it were real, it'd be like 400000 Yeah. What is no, that? Like, like, no. like... So I paid... I paid 395, I think like 395. Is it 395 or 495 for what is the like real 15 one. carats or something? It was up there. It had it had big stones. It was I mean 4000 diamond, diamond all the way around. Yeah, you three. got you're talking about like 15 20 yeah. carats. Like it's like huge a huge yeah, it was, it was, rock. It, yeah, it was, it was with a with a massive huge stone in the middle. Yeah, it was a big stone in the middle, and then had three stones on the side, and then right. yeah, it was. But the one in the middle is the one big. where the, that's where the money went. Yeah, so you end up getting a fake version of that. Yes. Now, how much did that cost you? Ten grand. Okay. Yeah. So what? So it was like a good fake diamond. Yeah. So what happened was, you know, when the proposal happened, it was like I think around her birthday. Um, is this your kid's mother? Yeah. Okay. And <laughs> what ended up happening is we got in a fight eight days later and broke up. And when we broke up, I'm like, that was a fucking waste of money. I want my ring back. So I was like, how do I get my ring back? Fuck it, I just got to get her back. <laughs> but when she comes back, I'm going to have a fake one and I can switch it at any time. And then that's what I did. I had the fake one created. And started, hey, missed you. Come on back and do all that stuff. Come so on. She came over with the ring. No, not just like later on. That's like, you know, that's like months later, four or five months later. Okay. And then, you know. And the whole thing was about the ring. And then, yeah. And then played house. So for you played house for four months to get that $400,000 ring. No, no. After it was four months and then I had the ring and then started playing, uh, uh, started playing a house again. And then, but always, but I never swish it. I just knew that I can switch it at any time. And then years later, and then I eventually switched it, put that one in the safety deposit, and then she just had the fake one. And she never noticed. When did she find out that the ring was fake? I think once we broke up and it was all said and done and, and she started like really going at me in the media. Like when she started like, when we first broke up, I didn't do anything. It was like, she was fine, nothing, you know, no problems. And then I won like custody. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I guess one of her friends, um, one of the married women was basically telling her that um, you need full custody. So you need to, you know, he needs to be a danger. He needs to do this so you can put a restraining order on him. That whole little Hollywood bullshit. Yeah. So that's when the fight started happening. And then once that started happening and then, um, you know, be being a troll that I am, I put, I took a picture, put the ring on it, and bop. <laughs> and oh, you had the original ring. Yeah, I had the original ring and, and you, posted it online. You posted it online. Yeah. And then what? She and went to go I check it out and realized. Probably went to go check it out and probably realized she had the fake one. And then from there, a filing came in that I, I robbed her. And then, then became, then she filed a lawsuit to get the ring back. Mm -hmm. And then common law marriage. And it was, 
Then there was two lawsuits. One was about the ring. One was about child support. Okay. Did she win the ring lawsuit? No. Hell no. <laughs> yeah. So she just lost her shit when she found out about the ring. Yeah. And then I used the ring money to pay for all the... Uh, the, uh, the lawyer fees? Lawyer fees. So I was like, you can keep taking me. I was like, you can keep taking me to court. That shit, I got about... Uh, <laughs> I got, I got, I got 350000 three, left. I got, a th- I got about three more cases before <laughs> I tap into my own money here. <laughs> oh, you were... You're a menace. Yo, Gil, you're a menace out here. I, I mean, listen, I, you know... This is my, this is always going to be my thing to just women, period, with kids. Kids and the the, the fathers, right? Your kids have their, the father's last name, right? Right? So if you're not protecting your kid's name, then you're not a good mother anyway. Mm. If if that father makes money, then you need to protect your kid's image, which means you're protecting the money. The money. That you're going to pay for child support. Yeah, so th- if this is the breadwinner, yeah. don't cut your nose off to despite your face. I feel you. Right? I, I, every, yeah, I completely agree. Every check yeah. he makes, you get crumbles of that. You get a piece of that. Yeah. The more fucking bread he gets, the more crumbles you get. So and you will be will, getting. And the kids will ultimately inherit that as well. So you, you're, you're protecting the bread to yeah. protect the little bread. That's how it is. You're, yeah. You need to protect all. That's, that's what a partner is. I, my partner, I want a partner who protects the brand. I feed a lot of people. So. If we have children together and you decide that fuck fuck it all, all you're saying is fuck it all to the kids too. Because I'm I'm the name that every that, that's on going to be on the back of the jersey, or this person's name is going to be on the back of their jersey and this jersey. So if I have a bad reputation because of you, they they get they get penalized from it. Yeah. So with that being said, how you feel about that? Because it was. Where you want to start? Because it's a, it's a lot to unpack. It is. Um, by the way, thank you for allowing me to be on the show. Oh, this is our show. So, how you feel about that? Um, it's, it is a lot to unpack. Ultimately, the, like he said, the kids do hurt from all this. Because both of them are battling over the money that could go towards the kids. To see they would, to see uh, them well and benefit from it and grow. But the problem I have is, um, where was his heart at from the start? Because to me, how was it a waste if that's where your heart was at when you first, um, when you first actually proposed to her, how is that a waste? You evidently was in love with her. You evidently had feelings for her. You evidently wanted to be with her. Why did it become a waste? Because y'all had an argument and y'all broke up. I think when he broke when he broke up with her, he recognized where his heart was at. However they broke up, I think he recognized where, the, where his heart was at. And I'm going to say, based off his own admission, his heart was with the money. Mm -hmm. So once he's seen, oh, this is a waste, his whole mission then was, let me go back and get my money. So whatever I got to do to secure my bag, according to him, even if that was faking a relationship, Playing nice, to so he still end up spending ten thousand dollars. I guess he was cool with letting her keep ten and swapping it out for four hundred. Cause the whole thing was, he said, "Well, this ain't gonna work out. I ain't finna let her get away with four hundred thousand dollars." That's that's the the gist of what I gather from. 
And then he throws the situation in on about the kids at the end. But he made sure that she didn't have the real ring. Okay. Since it was about the money, you got to think about it. It's been about the money from the get-go. This man got four kids from her, by her. So the bag been there since the four kids because you've been spending money. Mm-hmm. So you taking away from the kids as well as her. But then you turn around and you get full custody of the kids. I think I read where they originally started out with 20,000 child support because it, it was ultimately two lawsuits. There was the child support lawsuit in the ring. So you started out with 20,000. Then he went up to the judge awarded her 44,000. Then they went, they kept going back and forth to court and he ultimately dropped it down. I think to like $7,000 she was getting a month. Then he wound up winning for uh, child support. He wound up winning the case. I guess both of them, you might as well say, because he got ch- uh, custody of the kids and he won the ring. Mm-hmm. So ultimately, you know, he took everything. But one thing that he said that I wrote down, he said he was protecting his brand. He said he was protecting his brand. If you're not protecting your kids, then he said you basically not a good mother because his name is on the back of their jersey, which is their name. So he said that she really destroyed, trying to destroy his brand. Which is his last name. Which is his last name. But my my thing to him as a man, you didn't think about your brand before w- was you thinking about your brand when you made these four children with this woman? Right. Did you think about your brand by spending four hundred thousand dollars on the ring? Because at one point you had to think she was going to be the one. Right. But my thing is, how do you feel about him taking swapping the ring out? Um, I, I guess you can go with he's an Indian giver. That's what I I took from it. Um, he's an Indian giver because n- normally in the laws, I think they say I don't know where what state they're in, but normally, uh, when you give somebody a gift, you can't take it back. And that's what I can understand is how did he wind up winning that case? Ultimately, knowing that he bought that for her and then took it back, but he won that case. I don't understand. Technically, he didn't leave. It's going to sound crazy, but I'm going to say it. Technically, in the law, they feel like he didn't leave her empty handed. So they're going to say she still had the ring. And if so, basically, they're saying he got smart. They saying to her, is it about the ring? Oh, it's about the money. Yeah. So you got a ring. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, you might you might not have the ring you thought you had. It's smart. It was a smart genius <laughs> on his behalf because <laughs> so, it would have been an Indian giver if you think about it now that I see that, because he still gave her a ring. Ten thousand no. It wasn't four hundred. It wasn't it wasn't four hundred. It wasn't the value, but it was still a ring. And it was the same exact ring. Very smart and genius of him. And then she would have never knew it. If he hadn't exposed it on He posted it, like he said, I guess being petty and trolling. Mm-hmm. He posted I like you think you got over on me and you I'm I'm assuming I don't know, but for him to post that ring, she, she for him she had to been bragging about how he spent all his money on the ring. That's just me, y'all getting the comments, y'all tell me if I'm tripping. But for me, for what I'm gathering, she had to been bragging. Oh, I I got this, I got this, or he had to post. Oh, you think you you think you winning? So when he posted the ring. 
the real one, it made her think, well, what? Well, hold up. If he posting that, what do I have here? What do we have here? No, I gather that she went low when he had to ask you. Because he said that it was quiet at first. He said that their conversation, she hadn't said nothing. He hadn't said nothing. I think it's in the end when she started getting raunchy. So he felt like, oh, she digging. She digging. She going deep. She went low. She didn't go high. So he had to go even lower. He got clever. He got smart. <laughs> and he went and said, look, he talked with somebody. He, fa- he got some type of legal advice on that. Purchase a ring, the exact same ring. Might not be that much, but purchase that ring. But she got that ring. Long as she got that ring, you'll win that case. Because she do have the ring. It might not be the same one, but she do have a ring. So what what I think he did, he was thinking business all the way around. Mm-hmm. And and this ain't. This ain't going to be taken over well by some people, but I'm going to say it. So what he was thinking, okay, I'm going to use, say she, this is thinking. From a, because it seems like he's, he's been very business oriented. So he said, okay, even if she get custody of the children, he, he won't, he won't, obviously he wasn't trying to give her nothing. So obviously I, I just believe you. Because first of all, you had to think she was either unfit for you to take your children away from her or you were just trying to make sure she didn't get nothing. So with that being said, the custody thing, because I don't think you should, I think you should value at his at his statue, he should have valued who he had kids with. Any man should, but especially at his statue. Mm. So she was good enough to carry your seed, but you didn't think four. She, four of them. You don't you didn't think that she could raise them. And then what he was trying to do, again, I think he was he stated it earlier. It was all about the brand. And the brand comes with the bag. Mm. So if you ain't gonna be part of this brand, no, then his exact words was she disrespected the brand when she ultimately, uh, basically, I guess when they argued or whatever went about and she brought it to light, she disrespected the brand. That was the problem he had right there. He said that when she started speaking on these things and bring them up, then he got to remember that his kids' names are on the back of his jersey, whatever. And ultimately, she disrespected that brand. So th- this is another thing. This is my thing. This is what I think he was thinking going into that. Okay, even if he lose custody. He got a $400,000 cushion with this ring. Mm-hmm. So, he because he stated, and this is what shows me he, he was being petty. And also being business minded, he said, okay, if she take, she keep taking me to court. He wasn't doing nothing but using the money from the ring to pay for the court case. Mm-hmm. So even after that, even if he would have lost the case, he would have took the money he le- had left over from the ring to pay his initial payments in child support. Mm-hmm. So if you that astute with money, I think he was being super petty because I believe he knew this woman could t- take care of them children. Because if you that astute with money, you're going to be that astute with who you be with. Well, what 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 had the winning factor for him is uh, most in child support cases, they look at who has the most money. And ultimately, you know it's him. So he used that as a factor in his case to win that child support case to get them kids because he knew her finances. So he knew she wasn't able to support them kids without him. So that's the reason why I believe he won the child support case. But let, do you, do you see he still had, he got custody of all of them. So he still had to take care of them. 
Right. So he it wasn't like he was it wasn't like he was I uh, I am getting them from her, but I still he still had a responsibility to take care of. He said that in the interview. He said that I have to pay people. So that means that he I'm quite sure he has a staff there to help him with his kids. So that's money he's spending out as well. Yeah. So it just the pettiness was I'm gonna just make sure you don't get it. And you and you ain't gonna you're not gonna be financially set off of this. Because I feel like, you know what, at that point, this is my take on it. I believe she said something about that ring. Had to. <laughs> For him <laughs> to go <laughs> post it. Had I, to. Had I, to. I believe she said something about that ring. I believe she told him, I'm just going to take this ring and cash it in and get the money. Uh-uh-uh. <laughs> yeah. And he said, uh-uh-uh. Yeah. So when he posted the ring and trolling, she went and checked that ring out. And she found out it ain't it worth ain't, what you think it's worth. It ain't going to. In the words of Poon and Mooney, it went, didn't go the way she thought it was going to go. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Like, so do you think he was totally wrong? Uh, For, As a woman. From a woman's perspective, let me say this. From a woman's perspective, I feel like if he really was sincere about the whole thing, he wouldn't have never took it from her no way. From a woman's perspective. But at the same time, some people just, they're, they're going to go low. They're not going to go high. So at all costs, he was going to do whatever to get that ring back. Do I think he was wrong? Yeah, because, I mean, he took from her and the kids, and look how long he been together. Did he take from the kids, though? He took from her. That, that's that's obvious. But did he really take from the kids? I, that I don't know because, I mean, I don't know how long she had them kids before he got custody of them and what she needed to use that for. It's It's so many layers to that. You know what I'm saying? Okay, just to say if she had him for three months, knowing that she don't, he knows her financial stability. Come on now. And he, you know, he had to, he had feelings for her. That's the reason why he went and bought that ring. I mean, that's obvious. But do I think he was totally wrong? I mean, I could look at that and say no, because that's his choice whether he wanted his ring back. You know what I'm saying? I, I, my honest opinion, if, if you, uh, if you bought something for me, then it's for me. But if you done it to just get brownie points, I don't want it. You keep it. You can take it back. You know what I'm saying? You can take that back. I don't want it. So I'm going to, I'm going to say this. I think it was pettiness. On both parts. Because if she really, if she really sincerely appreciated the ring, she would have never, because I don't, she, she wouldn't have never brought it. My bad. She wouldn't have never brought up the, she wouldn't have never, I'm pretty sure she brought up how much the ring cost. Had to, Mm because why would, and if I'm wrong, y'all crucify me in the comments. She had to bring up how much the ring cost. And he was petty by going and posting. Because he no. he didn't even have to listen. Listen at this. After she said what she said, he could have ate it. Cause he because this this the thing. He know he got he knew he got the ring. No. But he he was he was so petty. He didn't have to post nothing on social media. Cause she didn't know. But she cause she thought. He could have let her think, oh, you won. Let me say this. Go ahead. Dude had a vendetta from the get-go because when they broke up, he said, I got to get that ring back. Because he knew who, he, listen, and this is, a, this is a factor too. He knew what he was dealing with. He knew what, listen, because <laughs> every, 
I'm pretty sure that they were together long enough to know each other. So they were together long enough to know what type of person they were dealing with. So when he, he was like, cut for one. Dude plotted. Had to. But for one, think about this. To buy a woman a $400,000 ring, you know that she's materialistic. So he was like, oh, it's interesting, too. I wonder, he didn't go into why they broke up after eight days, but I wonder once she, because I guarantee you she went and had the ring priced. Because women, women mm. going to go, and a lot of women going to go and make sure, hey, you know how you bragging with your friends? And if oh, you, I guess you, you got some women that are like that. You got that kind of money involved. Most of the time, they're going to see, well, girl, let's go see what it's worth. Uh, that wouldn't have been no factor to me, but I get what you're saying. It is women out there like that. I, I agree. And I'm just going to be honest with you. Dude had a vendetta once they broke up. His ultimate goal was to get that ring back. That's the only reason he went back. He sit like a sitting duck. And waited so many months before. I think I read in one spot where it said it was years, but he, he didn't really. He he kept saying it was oh about four or five months. He didn't really classify the amount of time. I think he said it was. I, I think agree. he did allude it to years in the in the post because right. he said four or five six months, and then he said he alluded on the back end to some years. But this is the thing. He waited that long, but he had already switched that ring. And he said, that he, and I think I read somewhere too, where he said that he could have switched it back, but he didn't. So he, to me, in his mind, when they broke up them eight days, he knew he never really wanted to be back with her from the get go. No, nah, the whole thing, was, he stated it. The whole thing would go back to get that ring. Yes. So it's almost like the Batman and the Joker. Mm. So he like, nah, you ain't finna play me like this. But you got you got people, men and women, who are out for the gust to go. And he had to feel like, oh, she got me. Breaking up after eight days for him to more, <laughs> he on he a different type of pity. So so he went back fake the relationship just to get the ring back really in the end he didn't need the money no he didn't so he just did that just to go and really troll her so what what i what i come away with you got two petty individuals <laughs> in a relationship that's but, what that's what that, i got but that's sad because you produce children out of that and so you know yeah, he do have custody, but them kids still need their mother. And I'm pretty sure they're around their mother. But this this is the thing I wonder. We might we won't never know because he's protecting the brand. I would be shocked if we ever find out. But he do have a son. One of his sons is is a very good basketball player. Okay. And I'm I'm uh I'm going to assume, hope I'm not wrong, that it's her son as well. So he only have four children, so it has to be. Okay, I didn't I, I don't know. So so all his children by her. Yes. So so if his son <laughs> this way this way he messing up it. Some people would say, like be a duke, you know you're not up, don't you? Yeah. So where he messing up at is he ain't thinking about and my son could shoot that rock. And my son, one day, will be able to tell his story. And guess, regardless of the fact, mm -hmm. that's still his mama. Mm -hmm. So, or his mother. Mm -hmm. So what's going to end up happening? He done paid her. He being petty, but he, whether he got custody of them children, he still done gave that woman over four hundred thousand dollars over time anyway, to some degree. Right. So he he being petty, su super petty. Super. But I'm pretty sure that one them children live with the mother to some degree. So basically, I think this is petty 
versus Petty. <laughs> I mean, that's that's all I gather from it. So it's like he he just able, we just able because of his name, him being Gilbert Arenas, the ex basketball player, he able to show his Petty. But guess what's finna happen? Guess what's finna happen? And I'm gonna say it. Go ahead. She gonna come out with her side. Cause guess what? People finna pay her to hear. Oh, well. So she finna make say say that. Cause I'm pretty sure she getting calls right now. Oh, definitely. She at the at the wazoo. And um, you got people who want to make probably make a show out of this. You know what I'm saying? I I I could almost see this might be a Tyler Perry. <laughs> and guess what? It's really. It's really still genius. It is for for everybody involved. Everybody, because now you got to have him to sign off. And see, you don't know because folks sneaky. So they could have. This could be a plot. <laughs> and Gilbert is Gilbert is he he's smart enough to pull it off, and he could have told her, "Look, that what we finna do." Uh, he might never see. This is the thing. Yeah. He, when he posted the ring, he posted it. It might have been the ring. We don't know. We, I think he's telling the truth because he just seems super petty. But we don't know if any of this is actual factual. We don't know if that was the same ring. He just said, hey, let me see the picture of the ring or posted the old old video. But I think he... I think he pulled it off and I think he, he got the $400,000 ring and I think she walking around with the 10 but guess what? Because she done took that ring to the pawn shop or to, wherever the dealer. To, to the appraisal. Yeah, and, and got it appraised, baby. And trust me, they done told her, nah, this ain't the real deal. This ain't the 400. It's, it's, and then, see, you got to remember, market value drops once you walk out the door. So uh, that $10,000 ring might be eight. I'm just going to sell seven. Yeah. So uh, this is the thing. This... <laughs> This this has like you said movie value, oh, book, book value, reality TV show value, everything wrote over it. So, Gilbert has struck gold again. Hey, reach out to us. <laughs> Let us know. Hey, the Gilbert Arenas, if you see this, <laughs> hey man, get get with us because <laughs> we want. I don't know. I think, we would like to interview you. I think Gilbert is. I think Gilbert is a mastermind and plotted this oh so well. And I, she, if this was going to tell the tale, because a woman, a woman who, uh, you correct me if I'm wrong, a woman who broke up with a man, she ain't finna let, he petty, but she ain't finna, if she don't speak up on it, she, if, if she don't speak up on it, I'm going to say this, you could disagree. I think, Everybody's in on it if she don't speak up on it. Then she could be one of them that you know what she don't let bygones be bygones. I don't know. You never know. I mean, sometimes people create a narrative for their own. You don't know if that's the case. <laughs> I I still think this is a case of pity. Versus petty. I mean, I believe it's petty. He said it was petty trolling, but I also believe it could be movie material. I believe it's some books, movies, and all kind of stories behind this. Hey, who who is one of them? Who the, did I marry? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> series. It could be a series. <laughs> yeah, that's that's crazy. That's interesting. That's another one for you, but yeah. I, I I think it's crazy. It's 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 a topic to be discussed. So, if you had to decide from from the facts, <laughs> if you had to decide, would you on everything you know about the case? Are you siding with Gilbert or are you siding with the young lady? I'm a, I, I'm gonna say what I, how I feel, but I'm gonna ask you: Are you siding with Gilbert in this, or if you had to pick a side? Um, I'm, I'm gonna keep it real with you. Um, I'm gonna side with the lady. Why? Because <laughs> it was her ring. 
I feel like if he really wanted to be with her and you bought that for her, why go through all that? If you if you bought her that ring, why be petty and take it from her? It's hers. That's just like you giving me, uh, you bought me a car. Then you turn around and go buy me another car. And, and swap it, it out. And swap it out. But you bought it for me. Why? I take it. He didn't take it. He just swapped it out. So that, he took it. So let me, let, me, let me ask you this. So So you got a... You got a uh, <laughs> you got a Benz truck outside. Uh-huh. Then it gets swapped outside. It gets swapped for a, a Jeep Cherokee. Uh-huh. But we got the we gonna still put the Benz. Uh, we find a Jeep Cherokee look just like the Benz truck, uh-huh. and we are gonna put the Benz. We are gonna take all the emblems of the Jeep off and put the Benz <laughs> emblems on. <laughs> then. <laughs> Once you find out it's a it's really a Jeep, this will this is petty. Well, I'm gonna but, say this. Hold on, this this it would be petty, but this is what I would say. Well, you still got a car. It's it, it's still and that, if I did that, I'd still be being petty. But it's it's still a nice vehicle. Mm-hmm. So then the question will, will come in: mm-hmm. Was it really about? The value of, because if it's about, in this case, if it's about the value of the ring, on either part, which which he's showing, it was for the value for him. I want what you gave me originally. Why I got a second chance? Why? He's saying, if he's saying, if you ain't with me, you don't get all that come with me. Oh, I mean. Now, he said, I still left you with something. Yeah, I mean, don't make it right. Okay, so then I'll re I recant my story. I you know what I, I I mean I told you off the rip before this conversation even came up before we got on here that if you took something from me and you don't want me to have it, then keep it. I didn't I say that. So is you saying I, I don't I, I don't want it if you if you taking it from me. I don't want it. I think me personally, this me. I'ma say this. And I I'ma side with her. Uh, this is why I side with her. Petty as she might have been. He didn't have to buy. If you just if if you just want to let her have a ten thousand dollar ring, you should have bought that ten thousand dollar ring in the first place. Right. Whatever you spent on it, you gotta eat that. That's how I look at it. So she could have broke up with you the, that day. You got to eat that. So, but what happened was, at first his heart was in it. <laughs> That's why he spent that four hundred. Then when he wised up, and I'm pretty sure his homeboys was climbing. Man, she played you woo 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 because it go on like that. An argument calls for two people, so she didn't play him. No, I'm saying that's how. Like once they broke up after them eight days. But again, how can she play you if two people arguing? It takes two people to argue. But I'm saying the narrative that were put in his head. Oh, from his homeboys. Either his homeboys or probably Gilbert. <laughs> I don't listen to Gilbert quite a bit. Gilbert probably psyched himself up. Oh, I was about to say, he sound like he that type. So Gilbert was like, uh uh uh, you hear me? <laughs> now I love you, but. He out Gilbert almost like on some Ike Turner. The, 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 name, the name stay home. Yeah. The name stay home. So he's saying, now if you with me, you get everything come with me. But Gilbert like, ah. But I'm going to say Gilbert. Gilbert should have. Gilbert should have just. Let her keep the ring, man. That's petty. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you somebody else. And this. I believe who would do the same thing who? now, and <laughs> cause I I I met him when he came down to a hotel. I ain't even gonna get y'all where the hotel at the city or nothing. But I met this dude. Did he was one of my? He's still one of my favorite bat, football players of all time. But when I say cheap, cheap. And I, I'm going to go and say his name, man. And 
And Prime, you know I ain't lying. I ain't going to say where you was at. I'm talking about Coach Prime. Coach Prime was in a hotel lobby. <laughs> and Coach Prime, they they was telling Coach Prime about a phone bill he had. Coach Prime, if I'm lying, hey, we can talk about it. Hit me up. But I think it was a few hundred dollars. And I'll never forget this. I seen this with my own eyes, and he know I'm not lying. And uh, Bucky, I know y'all be checking out all social media. I'm going to tag your daddy in this. That's Dion Jr. for those who don't know. So this man went, and this, he was the first man I ever seen have one. You know how your grandmama got the little uh, pouch with the flap? Yeah. He pulled out a pouch with a flap in the hotel lobby <laughs> full of nothing but hunt. Now, he... I'm talking about he argued to the B of one. I said, I said, boy, prime in rare form. Now, think about this. This is my mind frame. And this is why I say prime would have did it if he could have pulled it off. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm thinking about Deion Sanders as an adolescent. I've, I've seen Deion Sanders go from Florida State to the Yankees to the Braves and the Falcons. And I'm like, prime time. Then when I met him, I'm going to tell y'all who he was playing for. So at this time, prime, you were playing for the Cincinnati Reds. And I ain't going to go into what city you was in. You know I ain't lying. Unless you done did this in the multiple cities. And even if you had, you know I ain't. You still know I ain't lying. This man pulled out. All, he, he had nothing but, looked like nothing but hundreds in the, in the uh, change purse. He had a change purse like your grandma. With a flap. You know, with the snap on it. <laughs> he pulled it out and paid them folks. I was like, boy, he he's still my my favorite football player of all time. But I was like, boy, I lost a little respect for you, Prime. Prime, you cheat. Uh, I, but I guess that's I guess that's, I guess he was protecting his bag. But I was like, bro, come on, man. I'm talking about. You would have thought that man was flat broke. The way. He, he might just be a frugal man. And he said he said he got a song called Must Be the Money. <laughs> yeah. But I, I mean, I'm gonna like I said, I'm gonna say again, if you bought something from me and it made you go that far as to not wanting to give it to me, I don't want it. I, I agree with you. So I'm a I'ma side with the woman. Give give a I'm gonna have to start calling Gilbert. You you Petty Murphy, Gilbert. Petty Arenas. Gilbert Petty Arenas. Gilbert shoot that ball, but but this this one of the pettiest things of all time. And I believe Coach Prime in those days would have did the same thing. So mm, I, I, I ain't gonna say I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna say this. Prime Petty. Well he I think he bought uh Tracy a nice uh, treadmill that cost us some money. She was talking about. He didn't take it. When was it up. was it four hundred thousand? I don't know if it was four hundred thousand, <laughs> but I mean it, it was probably uh, quite expensive. He bought her a nice treadmill because I had read that. Prime looked like some here. He'll, he'll try to ease something out the house. Huh? You know how he be. You know how Prime be uh high stepping back in the day. Prime looked like he. He'll probably ease in there like the cat burglar and take something back up out of there. But that's the reason why you have to know who, who you with. with. Yeah. And I just thank God that my husband is not like that. And I'm definitely not like that. Cause my thing is, if I bought something for you, regardless of the price, mm -hmm. if 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 we don't work out, mm -hmm. I'm not finna be super petty and take mm -hmm. it's over with. Like you can't you can't make nobody. But this what this show. And y'all, y'all can disagree me, disagree with me on this, get in the comments. Mm -hmm. He ain't do it from his heart. Oh no. Cause if he did it from his heart, he would have let her keep the ring. Eight days later. He ain't get the ring eight days. No, he, I'm saying I am I'm, I'm just saying, hold on. Can can I answer this? We're finna wrap it up. Okay. So hey, y'all get in them comments, man. This is H&W Conversations Part 3. And like I always say, we gone. Bye. Keisha.